to Independence Day Eve. Festivities are already underway. So glad you're joining us tonight. I'm Shannon Ogg. And I'm Molly Hendrickson filling in for Andrew Hio. And tonight we want to make sure your 3rd and 4th of July are fun and safe. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer is live tonight at Civic Center Park. The fireworks show here at Civic Center Park celebrating Independence Day Eve just wrapped up. Now thousands of people are trying to get home from this fireworks show. But in case you missed it, you're at home, you're off doing something else. We have a little taste of what you missed. But of course, those were being put on by the paid professionals. If you're trying to do anything that remotely resembles that, let's say in your backyard, well, one, it's not a good idea, and two, you could be facing consequences even beyond the legal ones. We don't want to see anybody hurt. We don't want to see them burn their house down. Yet that's exactly what happened over the weekend in Aurora. Fire Rescue says illegal mortar-type fireworks shot off near this home on East Utah Place ended like this. It landed in, you know, one of the evergreen-type bushes, you know, Fitzer or something like that. And those, um, those burn very rapidly and very hot, and then it indeed caught the house on fire then after that. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt. The home is likely a total loss, though, and first responders don't want a repeat of that tonight or tomorrow. And it's a little scary because it is so dry out, and it's supposed to be so hot over the next couple days. A dry field plus kids playing with fireworks in Parker led to a small brush fire earlier this afternoon not far from E-470. South Metro Fire says no homes were affected, but it was 100% avoidable. Um, we teach fire safety at a young age for children that we don't want kids to play with matches and play with lighters. Uh, but then for some reason on the 4th of July, parents are okay with putting fireworks in their children's hands and, and letting them run off. Now, if you are found shooting off illegal fireworks, most cities will one, confiscate them, and two, hand you a court summons. That means a court date and a possible fine into the thousands of dollars. Now, cities like Denver and Aurora, they're going to have extra patrols, both fire and police out there responding to calls of illegal fireworks and chasing some of them down. If you want to report some illegal fireworks in your neighborhood, we have a full list of those important non-emergency lines, the numbers you should be calling. That's on our free Denver 7 app. Reporting live in Civic Center Park tonight, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7. Jason, thanks. And we did some digging, and there are consequences to shooting off illegal fireworks that you might not have considered. If there is any damage to your home as a result, your home insurance will not cover it. Right now,